Oh, Monday, November 1st. Got the third order of this No Rest November, y'all. Out in Chi-Town, baby. Heading back to Minneapolis tomorrow morning. I'm waking up super early, six in the morning, I'm talking about. Driving six hours back home, back to the 612, back to run the streets. Get this 10 racks. My goal is $10,000. I want each and every one of you guys to set your own goals. Set your goals, achieve them. Go! Let's get it! So, out of respect for your time and to not make this an hour long video, I'm only just going to show you some highlights, clips, some screenshots of the month. I simply recorded an enormous amount of footage during November and I don't want to bore you out of your gourd. Alright, so here's $10,000 made in one month doing food delivery. Day one, I finished the Chicago with $184.50. Did not hit the quota of 358 that I have to make daily to hit this $10,000 goal. And sadly, day two, I only racked up 136.39, y'all. So the first two days, I am heavily, heavily lacking. I'm at the gas pump, filling up the car, getting ready for day three. Day three, let's go. $62 first hour of this Wednesday lunch shift. November 3rd. Breakfast was also baller as heck. $65 this Wednesday morning. I'm pumped, y'all. I'm super freaking stoked. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you make a ton of money. But I'm just now getting used to balling. $222 I just made from 7.30 in the morning to 1.45 p.m. I am blessed and grateful to run this dash game, run these streets of the 612. Eli, the fastest dash. Let's get it! Thanks to my insanely busy market of Minneapolis, Minnesota, I began to realize that I could hit about 200 bucks most days before 2 p.m. Some days it was a bit over 200 and other days less. It was all dependent on what time I got out in the morning. I started most of my days between 7 a.m. and 8 a.m. and went till about 2, sometimes 3 p.m. Then I would take a break at about 3 o'clock till 4, get some rest in, get some food in me, work out. Then I would hop back on the dash about 4, 4.30 and dash till about 9.30. We're right on pace for $2,500 on this beautiful first week. $2,500 every week, three more weeks to go. Let's do it. So after a super slow start to this first week, I managed to pull it back and ended up with $2,435.36. I drove 1,025.6 miles and I spent 60 hours on the clock. Day 10! I tell you, there's nothing like a good sleep. Got 10 hours of solid sleep last night. Back on that dash, feeling so much better. I was feeling like crap last night. I was down and out, that's for real. $66 per hour for this lunch shift on Wednesday, November 10th. Let's get it! Day 11! Let's get it! It was one grinder of a Thursday. The biggest order I had was the very first order of the day. It was about $17, I believe. That was the payout on it. Average order today was probably like nine, ten dollars Wednesdays, for some reason, seem to be the top earning day on a weekday, and Thursdays are often slow. Don't know why, but Friday, November 12th. Let's hit it! That's fuck, boy! Big orders only, baby. Let's get it. It was during the second week that the first snow began to fall in Minnesota for the winter. That helped me out tremendously as people just don't like to drive during bad weather. Thankfully, I don't mind it at all, so you already know I was out there hustling. Week number two ended up being very similar to week one. My final earnings total was $2,525.99. I drove 1,048 miles and I spent 65 hours on the clock. Step into my office. Let's get going. Shout out Pedro Dora Santiago. So week number three was the week that I decided to go all out and hit $3,000. I easily put the most hours in this week. I was grinding day after day, putting in 11 to 12 hours each day. I filmed that video in its entirety from Monday through Sunday. So if you want to check that out, definitely go do that. You gotta love Minnesota weather, y'all. Now this third week of the month was truly a legendary week. My final earnings total for this week was $3,137.99. I drove my vehicle 1,057 miles and I worked 76.7 hours, which averages out to an incredible hourly rate of $40.90 per hour. Okay, 
for that motherfucking money, bitch. I'm a control of me, these niggas put this oh, yeah. ass nigga. Too bad I'm already having. Too, too bad I own my cousin, my mansion. Too bad I already made my investments. Cry me a river, I'm over here laughing. Yeah, I'm different. I'm talking about 2003, 2004, 50, nigga. A whole lot of money in this month. It's all motherfucking niggas. Yeah, man, said I believe that. Week number four, the final week of No Rest November. I honestly took this week super easy compared to the first three. Thanksgiving was during this week, so you know I had to spend time with the family that day. But for real, I was exhausted at this point in the month, and I just wanted to reach that $10,000. Nonetheless, I still managed to put up a really respectable week. I finished week four with $2,038.91. I drove my trusty Toyota Corolla 815.4 miles and I spent 52.6 hours on the clock. All in all, it was an absolutely incredible month. I'm super blessed to have an awesome market. I'm in the large order program with DoorDash, so I see catering orders and really large size orders on a fairly frequent basis. So that really helps me with my earnings. So the final tally, the final numbers of this 28 day grind of November are as follows. I made $10,138.25. I spent 254.3 hours working these two delivery apps, DoorDash and Uber Eats, and I drove 3,946.8 miles in my 2014 Toyota Corolla. And before I sign out, I just want to say thanks to everyone who signed up for this No Rest November challenge. I hope each and every one of you guys hit your goals for November, and I hope you had a great time doing it. And shouts out to Jersey Jack, the winner of No Rest November. Believe it or not, y'all. This man topped my $10,138 with a $10,660 November. Ain't that special. Jersey Jack, you are an incredible man. Thank you so much for the competition. It was truly an honor. Turn my name to the kid, that's a baby go. Keep it dirty, I can start it up over, yo. You can get a percent, but I want the most. Got a house on the lake, so I bought a boat.